um, very uh, exciting uh, counting of millions of uh, <laughs> votes is still going on. Uh, you're in this room. Uh, you will find dancers and choreographers who can only count till eight, <laughs> not till millions. But the wonderful thing with their work is that they know how to variate their counts of eight, so it becomes wonderful compositions, whole worlds in itself, whole creations in itself. That you will see in this first time ever gathering of our major companies at Dance Manila this coming June. 14 to the 26th. What you will see are not only the best performers, their best uh, productions, but also they will be sharing um, their, their pedagogy or what they've put together for so many years in terms of imparting um, dance skills to our uh, broadest community. Um, it is a historic occasion. It's, it's been very rare to um, have all of our major companies gather in one festival. And the wonderful thing with this is they're throwing the white net out there and including not only ballet companies but contemporary dance companies as well. And in the future, uh, there's also a vision of including other uh, dance forms and dance genres as well so that it truly becomes a showcase of the best of Philippine dance to the Asia Pacific region as well as to the whole world. I will leave the details to our, um, I, I understand the festival directorship is shared by our, uh, by three um, key people. Of course, uh, um, the artistic director of uh, Bali Philippines, Mr. Paul Morales, is one, and of course, Lisa Makua is out there, Bali Manila, Bernardo of, uh, of Philippine Ballet Theater. All of them have come together together with their presidents and their boards and even the marketing teams to make this happen. I have to tell you truly that at the onset when this was proposed to us, we were a bit shocked by the scale of the event because we didn't have that kind of, we didn't have that kind of resources. I mean, just to stage one ballet alone costs a lot. How much more staging like three major productions? And by, by putting all their efforts together, their resources together, they were, we were able to, uh, uh, CCP was able to come in with our own resources to make this happen. Um, so we have, um, all, of course, all of our other sponsors to thank. Um, the National Commission on Culture and the Arts who gave us a generous um, grant to cover some of our expenses. Uh, Manila Broadcasting Company who will be helping us a lot in terms of communicating what this whole festival is all about. And of course, Hotel Jen for our ever generous neighbor who's been uh, hosting quite a lot of our um, press cons and I'm sure um, you've already, you've, our GM Ed Comer uh, is now a very familiar face to you. So thank you so much Hotel Jet for hosting this once again and hope to see you and please spread the news and hopefully write very well about this festival so we rise up after the dust settles you know, for this election we present something exciting and refreshing to our tension-ridden and tension-weary publics. Thank you so much, and welcome to Dance MNL. May I now call on the artistic director of Ballet Manila, Ms. Lisa Makua. Dance Manila is a truly exciting event because it is for the first time, actually in a long time, the very first time that all three ballet companies got together to present a concert was for the benefit of one of our own. Uh, we raised funds for the treatment of uh, uh, Edna Vida Froilan. Um, it was an artist welfare project incorporated a concert that raised funds for Edna and it was called Dancing La Vida Edna. Um, we did that in a little theater. But you know, a long time ago, I'm sure not many of you uh, remember this, but I do. I was a 13 year old participant in what was then the Ballet Federation of the Philippines 
concert where they brought together all the different um, schools and companies on one stage with you know one presentation after another in the folk arts theater. I remember this because I was not able to perform for the performance. The night during the night of the after the technical rehearsal, I uh, got appendicitis and I was rushed to the hospital. I was 13 years old and the first thing I asked the doctor when he said that I had appendicitis and I needed to be operated and said, would I be able to dance tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> but it was not to be. So anyway, this time around, um, I will also not be dancing, but I'm, I'm very proud that Bali Manila is um, one of the three companies um, invited to take part in Dance Manila. And if this, and I'm sure this, this festival is going to be a success, because if it is a success, it's going to be something that will happen every two years. So we're really very, very excited uh, about this event. Um, just very briefly, because um, I know the other directors will be talking also about it. Bali Manila's participation will be in, of course, the workshops. We, um, I will be giving master classes, Osias Barroso will be giving master classes, and all of our other teachers, Jonathan Hanolo, Sofia Sanco Peralto, Peralta Anselmo, um, Dictado, um, Eileen Lopez will all be giving master classes in the different levels during the first week of the festival. Um, most of these classes will be held in Star Theater. Um, and of course, the uh, main uh, performance in Aliu Theater will be uh, Generation Next uh, on June 26. So the idea being that there will be performances almost simultaneously in Aliu Theater, Star Theater, the CCP Main Theater, the CCP Little Theater, the Rehearsal Hall of the CCP, um, the, uh, the Little Theater Lobby. There will be uh, one performance after another. So at 2 o'clock, you can enjoy a Giselle full-length matinee performance. Then you go to a 6 p.m. Dance Diaspora in CCP Little Theater. And then you go to the Giselle Tribute to Felicity Stradich um, at 8 p.m. So that's the idea. That, that's what we want to happen for uh, Dance Manila. Uh, Ballet Manila will be dancing in the Winner's Circle Gala on Tuesday, uh, June 21. Uh, Ballet Manila will also be performing in the Ballet Filipino Gala, which is on June 26, as well as the two full-length Giselle performances in um, the CCP Main Theater on June 25. And uh, we are welcoming back Christine Rocas, a Ballet Manila alumni from the uh, Joffrey Ballet. She will be performing in the Winter Circle Gala in Ballet Filipino and in um, the Dance Diaspora Gala. And uh, yeah, we are really very excited about this project. And I think um, the other directors will talk about their respective companies' um, different contributions to the dance festival. So. Thank you very much for uh, s helping us spread the word. We want our festival passes to sell out. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lisa. May I now call on the Artistic Director of the Philippine Ballet Theater, Ron Hainayo. Thank you, Madam Lisa. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> um, Philippine Ballet, in behalf of Philippine Ballet Theater, um, masyado pong, ano, ito yung mga pagkakataon na kung saan ang mga dancers ng Gada Company ay sobra po yung excitement. You know, when these three companies join together, talaga expect po yung flair, yung parang uh, fantastic dancing, you know, kasi para pong meron yung mga ano eh, yung parang healthy competition sa bawat isa. So parang kung gusto nyong manood ng talagang sayawan, kagandahan sa iyong pagalingan ng sayawan, you should join this dance MNL. Please check us out. And uh, Pippin Valley Theater may I say na it's our 30th anniversary and uh, um, marami po kaming gagawin na isishare din po namin dito sa Dance Manila. Like uh, we will be having a sneak preview of our um, 
what's the title? First, great classics. Great classics, which actually gago po kami na open rehearsals sa main theater na iniimbita po namin kayong lahat para panuori kung paano po kung namin ginagawa ang isang classical uh, repertoire. And magkakaroon po ng open forum, so everybody is, uh, yeah, pwede magtanong, ng kahit ano sila tanong yan. And uh, I hope uh, every year, sana no, or twice a year, it doesn't really matter. I hope that this new president of ours, <laughs> President Duterte, <laughs> Sir Chris, maybe I was thinking, you know, we can maybe do something for him so that he'll know that we exist. <laughs> Who knows? Diba? For so long, the, the, the arts um, here in, in the Philippines really is like crawling. On our own, even Miss Makuha here, you know, nahihirapan po ang art scene. Um, wala hong maginhawa sa tatlong pampanis na yan. And we really need the support of our government. And through you guys, I hope you can all, you know, help also us to ma freak natin yung government natin para matulungan yung art scene dito. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ron. Um, I'd like to call the Artistic Director of Bali Philippines, Paul Alexander Morales. Uh, mabuhay ang Pilipinas. <laughs> Napaka-exciting this uh, last few days. Medyo takot kami nung una schedule yung press conference right after the elections, but uh, it seems like it's a good time and there's also great energy. So it's a time for change, transformations, uh, moving forward the country. So ta tama yung sabi ni Ron, kami din in the arts, uh, the people working in the arts really want to move our uh, sector forward, our industry forward. And, and that's probably one of the main ideas, is really to celebrate and to help industrialize uh, the fact that ballet is so uh, established in the Philippines. If you look at the old uh, releases, like at the Metropolitan Theater, there used to be ma many, many performances of opera in Manila. It used to be a very popular thing. But now we have very rare performances. And I, I think of that in the context of paano kaya yung ballet umabot sa level na meron tayong three professional dance companies. Uh, and that's really yung una natin gusto celebrate. Manila is one of the few places in the world that supports three professional ballet companies. So that's a special uh, trait. And if you add up the ages of all the companies, that's almost 100 years of professional dancing. Uh, Ballet Philippines is about 47 years old. Ballet Manila is celebrating 21st anniversary and Philippine Ballet Theater 30 years. So it's almost 100 years na sinusuportahan natin yung ating mga mananaya o yung mga gumagawa ng ating mga sayaw. Uh, and when you say professional ballet company, that means the dancers are working uh, five days a week, you know, often eight hours a day, really uh, dedicating their lives to their art. And thinking about that, maybe compared to opera, I would say a little bit competition is healthy, but more than that, it's really the passion. The passion and the commitment of all these artists to bring this art forward and to present it to the Filipinos. So I'm, I'm really grateful uh, that my co-directors are so gracious and so welcoming uh, with this idea and they've uh, given so much for this really to be a very special event. So just to run down, uh, we have three main components of Dance Manila. Uh, one is a conference uh, and, uh, and meetings towards the industrialization and understanding the practice of dance in the Philippines. So that will happen in two days. Uh, that will be the 21st and 22nd. The other aspect that Lisa spoke about earlier is the dance intensive which is a two-week uh, program. Uh, as Lisa mentioned, you can have all the great uh, ballet teachers, dance teachers in Manila here. So we really encourage the young dancers to uh, maximize that. So that will happen throughout the whole run of the festival from the 14th to the 26th. So napakaraming classes na, I think about 
ninety plus classes that they can choose from. And as Lisa mentioned, we have a lot of our famous dancers uh, from all the three different companies who will be teaching there. And the last part of the festival, uh, from the 21st to the 26th, is a series of performances. So we have about uh, 10 special events. Uh, as Lisa mentioned, there's the Winners Gala, which celebrates all our winners. So local and international winners, so we, we would say that these are really the best of Philippine dance. So as you know, we have our local ballet competitions here at the CCP, but we also have dancers who have really excelled uh, internationally. Uh, just to mention some of the dancers who are coming for that gala, we have Candice Adea, who's dancing in Ohio, uh, Ms. Christine Rojas, who's from the Joffrey Ballet now, Jared Tan, who's dancing at Atlanta Ballet, and we also have two very exciting young dancers, Miss Jasmine Cruz, who's uh, dancing in San Francisco. Uh, she's uh, won a number of awards in the American ballet competitions. Plus we have a dancer who's dancing now in Singapore, uh, who won the gold medal in Paris recently. Uh, so he's a graduate of the Philippine High School for the Arts. So uh, aside from those guests, all of our other uh, notable dancers will be in that very special show, so that's a Tuesday. And then, aside from the three companies, we also have featured performances from the contemporary dance companies in Manila, which are Dalai Dance Company, Air Dance, uh, UP Dance Company will have their own program. So I'm sure you have the whole uh, selection there uh, in front of you. And like my fellow directors, nice ko sabihin na sana na, uh, isulong natin ang ating sining, uh, hindi lang siguro yung sayaw, no? yung buong idea na mahalaga yung kultura, uh, especially as we want to develop our country further. Uh, 